That's DB. I'm Ravi Lula here at Herd at Sports Bar and Grill. It's time for a bet on it. Brought to you by Warhorse Sportsbook. Warhorse Sportsbook. No bets, no glory. Make sure you're going to the sportsbooks in Lincoln and Omaha to place your bets. You can place bets on nearly every major sporting event. And it is the best place in Nebraska to do that. Make sure you go to warhorsecasino.com for more information. DB, before we get to Wyatt here. Uh Uh-huh. I want to revisit the very, very, very stinky line we have in the NFL. <laughs> what is it? That the Texans plus two. You don't like that? No, because I don't think. You like that, huh? I don't think that Aaron Rodgers' uh, magic cayenne pepper water is going to make a difference in this game. <laughs> and I don't know how else we're getting to plus. I don't know how we're getting. I get there's receiver issues yeah. in, in Houston. But we're really, we're really making the Jets a favorite over any damn buddy. Yeah. Yeah, tonight. You know they lost to the Patriots last week, right? That's a bad team. I'm just telling you, there's something about the Jets. They were favored on the road against at Pittsburgh. Are they the UCF of the NFL? Where they're just favored in games that we're just, what in the hell is happening here? I don't know. UCF was a favorite against BYU last week. Oh, it just depends. Is Devontae Adams still talking? (laughs) Aaron Rodgers is. They need to move on from DA already. They need to move on from AR already. (laughs) I can't do that. No, because they are pot committed. Yeah, all in. They are pot committed to this guy who needs to be committed um, in Aaron Rodgers. You know, that line does not float in your boat? <laughs> none of it. None of what that dude does floats my boat. Yeah, their favorite. You think I don't like Hugh Freeze? Whew. But I will say this, though. Texans, they're not as good as their record. No, they're not. But they're good. I don't, they're I think, good. I think the Jets are worse than their record. <laughs> wow. Because they started two and one. They've been very bad since then. Yeah. Like, I know two and six is a bad record. I think, they've, I think they're currently worse than that. Mm. That is a dumpster fire of a franchise. Is that worse than giving up five runs and having none of them earned? <laughs> it's not great. Oh, I'm deep tough. <laughs> it's not great. We also have a little bit of. You want to uh, get to Wyatt quick? Uh, yeah. Have, let's get to Wyatt quick. Wyatt, what's going on, buddy? Hey, you guys aren't going to hang up on me again, are you? No, I, that was Shane. Yeah, I would never. That was that was that was, that was Shane O'Buttons. So we have a we have a Bumblebee yeah. and a uh, ghost right now. Oh, no, Bell. Bell. They, they have a ghost costume on. Well, that, that makes a rotation. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Wait, so they're doing, like, wardrobe changes on Halloween? Uh, no, because yeah, there's, like, a, well, Jamie, I mean, you know, there's, like, a thousand truck or treats that we're going to get. We've had to go through. Oh, so. yeah. Gotcha. They get, they, they, get, they get choices sometimes. We have the hand-me-down costumes, so we just want to use them. Oh, that's nice. Got anything for a six-year-old, even though nobody in your house is over three? Is Getting that... in the rotation there a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bud? What's on your mind? Uh, well, so I just want to talk about, you know, because I'm, I'm a fan. And I'll, I mean, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm thinking things, and then I come to listen to your show. I'm like, oh, no, I, was, I, was, I, was, I must have been thinking like a knucklehead. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, to be fair, too, for the fans' perspective, you know, we're, you know, like, like you guys are my primary. I, mean, I do listen to other things, other media outlets and, you know, other talking heads. Yeah. How so, dare you? <laughs> well, and you know, one of my one of one of my black fans called in yesterday. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe you let him watch your kids, but that's a whole nother discussion. Uh, well, Chris is there too, so I hope <laughs> oh, so. Good, good, good call. Good call. <laughs> uh, but um, so, to be fair, for like a fan's perspective, you know, so we're getting a lot of things, and you know, they are a little bit more some harsher criticisms, you know, of Satterfield out there. Oh yeah. So I think for a fan like me. And I hate to – sorry, Dave, I'm sorry for this, but some of us fans are thinking if Satterfield just can be the same coach 10, 10 games from now, and that's, that's the worry about it. <laughs> that's a nice pull. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Asian wide here for Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like – but, hey, uh, like going back to what Sam said, I mean uh, – yeah, his mom was a good athlete too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're on a roll so far here, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, am, am I am I still on your contact list? Yeah. For now, <laughs> barely. Uh, well, we're coming tomorrow, so I hopefully hope you let me in the door. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. It'll be a good one. All right, but but yeah, no. I mean, like I said, you know, like we 
as a fan, you know, we, we, we hear a lot of things, so, but it's good to hear, like, like in politics, it's good to get resources from others, different locations. So, again, sometimes I do think a certain way, but you guys, you know, help me, help guide my, my thought process in the meantime as well. No, I appreciate that, Wyatt. I, we'll see if we can get you breakfast tomorrow. I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> tough. Well, <laughs> So you, just get some tater touch with the girls, and I'll be happy. Oh, you got it. I appreciate it. Thanks, Wyatt. Wyatt, appreciate the call there. <laughs> he just too. Man, he was just throwing some scuds at you. Yeah. You did all right over there? She did say, you know, my greatest fear is you're going to be the same person in 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know if Sam was saying that. I don't either. I, I'm not sure. Wyatt definitely was. Oh, 100%. <laughs> 100%. I don't know if Sam was. Yeah, that's all right. You know, it's uh, it's all right. We out here. Much, much like on social media, I got thick skin, baby. <laughs> thick skin. I'm like Teflon. You got to. You got to. Pounds, baby. Pounds. Some pieces. You uh, Do you like the Tulane Charlotte game at all night? I do not. I don't either. I do not. I, I'm not even sure I want to watch that. I probably will because um, I thought you were a big Tulane guy. Uh, I like... Uh, I like. You don't the, like their color scheme. I liked Willie Fritz. I like their. I like their uniforms. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm, nah. I, don't, I don't have a ton of reason. I'm. I'm also. I don't really need to see Charlotte. I'm not a big Biff guy. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not in on Charlotte either. I don't. I don't necessarily need to. Spend and it's my our time only. On that. It's our only one tonight. Yeah, that's the thing that's bumming me out here. Is I wouldn't even brought it up, but I'm just staring at it. It's like what's, I kind. What's tomorrow? I kind of want to watch. Suspect too. I kind of want to watch college football tonight, but I don't think I'm going to have anything. Uh, tomorrow you got Georgia State, UConn. Woof. Uh, you got yeah, no. San Diego State, Boise State should be good, but San Diego State's struggling this year. So, yeah, that's not gonna be good. No, I mean like typically the brands would be good, but that's not a good matchup tomorrow. Yeah, which is a bummer. Which means it's a good night to get out and watch some uh, high school football. Yeah, Giante's got every running back out here in the country at the high school level just standing straight up now. <laughs> is that like the high school running back equivalent of? Like guys that started pulling up from 35 feet in high school basketball in like 2015. Yeah. I saw a stat, and it's early. It might have been NBA Stat Muse. Mm-hmm. On pull up threes. Yeah. Being up like 34%. Yep. From a year. Again, the, the sample, as Jacob Padilla very would small. say, very, small, very sample. small sample says. We're like four games in. But. Folks are like coming down, just jacking for beats, man. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know. So I was kind of having this argument. We haven't talked a lot of NBA, and that's fine. We, we, you know, it's it's football season. But I was having this argument with uh, our guy RP, and then a bunch of other people got uh, chimed in on Twitter about his affinity. And I know you kind of have the same thing for '80s and '90s basketball compared to today yeah and i will it's you know mine isn't in comparison it's just not as trash as you make it out to be it's pretty bad um (laughs) you know i I heard something uh, about somebody's like you know i'm not gonna say i'm willing to die on that hill anymore i'm gonna start saying i'm willing to kill somebody on that hill (laughs) (laughs) or if somebody says hey you're gonna die on that hill i'll say well someone is hey by the way speaking of nba and it's early and we like him yeah I think you got to shout out B-Max, um, his Hornets. They're they're off to a two and two start. Dude, have you watched Lamelo this year? <laughs> Woof! <laughs> My guy is straight channeling his Chino. Do not give a single f style of play. That dude. There has never been. This started out as a tribute to Ben McLaughlin, and you're hammering, dude. Ball. You think you think Ben? You see, you see, Big Brother's got the fracture. He's hurt again. I know it bums me out, man. Really? I like Lonzo. So we can't blame it on the shoes because it's a hand injury. Yeah, I know. He's just. I think he's just oh, injury prone. I think he's just. Maybe they missed vitamin D. Maybe didn't get enough sun out yeah. there. Maybe he forgot to. Maybe all the things that Lavar was working on forgot to get the vitamins in there. Totally. The vitamin of Vegemin. I, I would imagine <laughs> they were a big supplement family. They do you think seem, he'd have been knocking out the vitamin D. Well, maybe they focus too much on the creatine and not enough on like the the you know the powdered greens. Yeah, you know, get those bones strong. I have a powdered green and it's atrocious. Some of them, there's a huge variance in how good they are. Ugh. Some of them are very bad. That's like four year old plug your nose and get it down type stuff. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Much like I probably cannot watch college football tonight. Cause... Are, are we gonna act like the? 
So I, I was talking to John over text about it. Mm-hmm. You know, Daniel Jones is five two and one against Washington. He has a ninety eight QBR. That's a bad team, though. Twelve touchdowns, three picks. But you just your coach just had to come out and say yesterday that you're actually going to start. It can't be good in the neighborhood I in New York. I think so. How's it only four? That's another stinky line. Yeah, that's uh, John's all hey. in. He, he, El Gigante's plus the four. Sometimes stinky lines are just free money. Yeah. That's bet on it. Public but... needs something to play with, too, don't they? Uh, that's right. <laughs> if they never win, they ain't got no cash to come back. <laughs> that's bet on it. Brought to you by Warhorse Sportsbook. No bets, no glory. We'll be back to wrap up the show here on Herd Sports Radio. 